This is a quick addendum to my previous video where I analysed some of the images from the FLIR video. See my previous video for the details of the techniques that I'm using. In my last video I analysed one two second section of the TV mode images. In total there's a little over 20 seconds of TV mode in the FLIR video so for completeness I've analysed all of this in three second slots. This is the section of the video and the results for each three seconds with the images magnified to two times the original size. I take each three seconds and stack the frames together as I did in the last video then try to sharpen the images. It seems to me that the shape is slightly changing as the video progresses. I think this could be either because the range to the UAP is reducing and we're starting to see a little more of the object towards the end of the section or maybe because the UAP aspect is changing slightly and becoming more side-on. It could also be a combination of both. In all the images the shape does not seem to be a completely smooth tic-tac shape. Next I compare the first good TV image with the closest good IR image at the same scale. The IR image is not exactly the same size and shape as the object in the TV image. I do the same with the last good TV image and its closest IR image. The IR image is a bit more elongated but still not the same size as the TV image of the object. I show the images close together here. Now if I look at just the IR images and how they change throughout the video, this is what I see for the two times zoom images. The object in IR seems to start off a more roundish shape but become more elongated. The last image is right at the end of the video when the object is moving off the screen so it might be blurred because of motion. But the third image here is still a steady locked image and has a definite elongated shape. Unfortunately there's no TV image close to this time slice for comparison. Here are all those images together. There's no earth shattering conclusions from this addendum but I have the following impressions. First, I still think the object in this video is not a completely smooth tic-tac shape. Second, I think the TV image gives a better idea of the shape than the IR image which I think does not show the whole object. And finally, I have the impression that the object is getting closer and maybe slightly changing aspect as the video progresses, which if true means under normal circumstances it should have still been possible to track it on radar and then reacquire. I've seen commentary from Chad Underwood that he thought the radar was being jammed, but there's no radar data to analyse. Let me know what you think in the comments. My next video will be looking at two papers that analyse the acceleration of the UAP in the FLIR video.